Hi everybody. I've had a number of requests from people concerning the uh, modification that I did to this Miltech bag and that was uh, adding the Y strap to it. And I based the uh, the Y strap on the one that was uh, that's fitted to the uh, Falcon 2, the Maxpedition Falcon 2. What I did was I went on their website and looked at the pictures to see just exactly how it was configured. And it's quite a simple modification as well. Um, what you're going to need is some one inch webbing. Now the first, the first part of the mod is attaching this, this, these two straps which, go, which are stitched onto the uh, grab handle at the top of the bag. Now these straps are about six and a half inches long. Um, with a buckle either end as you can see there um, now I managed to uh, to stitch these on using the sewing machine um, but if you can't if you haven't got a sewing machine then it's perfectly simple to uh, to hand stitch them the beauty of the bag is that you can open it wide up and get it right under the machine itself that's the first part of the modification now the second part of the mod is the strap that's actually attached to the uh, shoulder straps. There's one on each shoulder strap. And these are about 9 inches long. And I've attached them about 4.5 inches from the stitch line there. Now the reason I put them on was that when the bag's loaded you can push these through there like that and they will take some of the strain off the stitching for the uh, shoulder straps themselves they're quite simple to do they just go on like that and what I tend to do is just fold it back over like that which locks the strap in And that, that, when you've adjusted them right, that will actually take some of the strain off the uh, off the stitch line there, where the shoulder strap attaches to the bag. You can pull them up quite tight. It's all adjustable. The entire mud is made up of one-inch webbing and uh, buckles and uh, a snap buckle as well. There you go. Now this is. This is the Y strap and it's made of one piece which is about two foot long but you can always um, make it a bit longer and cut it down and what basically all I've done is I've just folded it over there and stitched down, I stitched across and then I've stitched another piece with a snap buckle on it which is folded over to the front stitched all around there and that forms the Y shape. I've put a couple of these, I think they're called ladder buckles or something like that. They're not fixed, they, they'll just slide up and down. And the reason they're there for it is that they'll take up a bit of the uh, slack uh, strapping. So that's that's the Y strap. That's two foot long. But if you want to make it a bit longer, obviously, you know, you can do it. Now the other part of the, the Y strap is this part here which is stitched onto this front pocket here you just stitch straight through it's just stitched straight through there and the other part of the snap buckles attached this part is about 13 inches long 13, 13 and a half um, and it's fully adjustable like that And now what goes on to that, of course, is the actual uh, Y strap itself. And then this part of the Y strap just goes through that buckle there. And with these, as I said, you can take up the uh, take up the slack. It goes through there. 
And that's basically it really, it's a very simple mod, I hope this video has helped, um, it's very difficult to to video this bag being, being black and it's not the brightest of days. Of And that's it really. It's all made with uh, one inch webbing, uh, one snap buckle, um, one, two, three, four, four of these sort of, I think they're called ladder, ladder buckles and these two bottles here. Everything, everything come off eBay. You'll get all that type of stuff on eBay. And um, it's a useful mud because you can you can put a coat or anything under there. All right, lads, thanks very much. I hope this has been a help. And uh, if you got any questions, uh, feel free to uh, put them down in the comments.